bridge. vantage point down here to see the the hills of no trees. Crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. Go down. Go down on the bank here and check it out. All the birds are doing warning cries because they're not used to people. Well, howdy folks, Sean here from HikingWithSean.com. Today we are at Hillman Ferry, land between the lakes, Kentucky, and we're driving through the campground, but we're gonna go up to the camp area that we usually stay at that got hit by a tornado and is currently closed off. Alrighty folks, this is the area that got hit by the tornado. This is where we used to camp, so. We're gonna go check it out. Already a pretty good sized tree uprooted, hardwood. And this goes to show you that tornadoes can hit hills, because this is up on a hill. Yeah, these sites are pretty good looking. Ain't too bad. Looks like an old abandoned campground. <laughs> See some of the debris. Oh wow. Wow. There used to be a bunch of trees up here. <laughs> oh wow. Talk about a tornado overlook. Wow. Hope you all can see that. That used to be a forest across the lake. And that is now a hill. A bare hill. Wow. That's crazy. We walked that last year. It was we did. a Full forest. That is nuts. This is our case site right here. Yeah. This is our campsite. Quite a few, quite a few trees uprooted through here. All that was woods. So not too many trees left, but these were a couple different sites. Up, up there, but it's all woods, and you know they've they've cut a lot since since then. But just to give you an idea, I 
power of nature. All those trees, these tall ones with nothing on top, snapped. That's what that is. So the tornado went through and just snapped the tree in half. So, I seen that on May 8th. <laughs> I mean, we walked around through here. That's a mess now. A lot, a lot of work ahead of them. You can just see it out there on the hill. That's all. Wow. That's crazy. Almost looks like the tornado tracked through that. Alright, you could see the hillside a little better. That was covered in trees last last year, last summer. Just covered. You, you, you wouldn't have a be able to see the there's a heron. You wouldn't have been able to see the uh, curvature of the hill last year, or at least before the tornado hit. So, just crazy. Well, you see, you can look at this. Look how that looks, and then turn it, and look at all the trees that managed. So, that's what it used to look like. Just a healthy tall forest, woodland forest, and now look at it. That's crazy. That's Mother Nature. Man. That's so bizarre. <laughs> Alright folks, as you can see, Michelle's laughing at me because I say alrighty folks. <laughs> I've been told I need to make t-shirts that say alrighty folks. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a normal forest here. You know? Looks good, right? But up, up here, a little ways, um, it's not going to look so good. That's where the tornado crossed. Yeah, that's where the tornado crossed. I mean, no one was here, so it was a good deal, but it could have been really bad. Well, here's a little bit of damage. Of course, there's more up there. If it was leaf off, we'd be able to see a much bigger picture. But there's all sorts of... Oh, yeah, here we go. Get into the tree damage. I mean, it's all, it's all through there. And it gets worse as we continue on. There's a little bit of bike path. And uh, the north-south trail through here is, is probably closed for the most part because um, there's a lot of trees right on top of it all. So, what you can see some uproots. And while, while it's normal to see uproots in the forest, you know, where gust of wind or whatever took a tree down, it's just so weird seeing it like this, because, I mean, it, you can see it now really good. You know, check that out. It's like a bomb went off. That's crazy. And a lot of this, they just shoved over to the side when they came through here just to clear the road. And there ain't leaf offs when you really want to come and check it out. It's going to be uh, amazing. Amazing in a, just an awesome power of nature way. And, uh, but it's nature, you know, you can't really get too upset. That's just how it works. Tornadoes happen. Unfortunately, you know, Mayfield was the hardest hit. And unfortunately, a lot of people lost their lives. Wow. But this is a trail right there in front. You can't even see it. So much tree debris. Crazy. 
very crazy. And like up here, we'll try to look and see if you can see it, but they're basically logging and they're logging because that's sure. the cheapest way to get rid of all the downed trees from the tornado. So, but that's kind of a, but yeah, it's basically all that back there, they're logging. This is gonna be next, cause it's got the yeah. permits. Yeah, so they'll log it out of there and eventually it'll grow back. Yeah.